Hey everybody, um, this video is going to be um, about balancing and synchronizing the throttle bodies on a Crossfire fuel injected 305 or 350. Um, I've gotten actually a surprising amount of uh, requests for this video, um, even overseas. I just got a message from somebody from Italy this morning asking me if I can do a video. Um, so here it is. Um, this video is going to be the, I guess, preparation part of the procedure. Um, the first thing you're going to need, actually the only thing you'll need, is a uh, water manometer. Um, I've got one, uh, an old Dwyer from uh, 1982, and this is what the um, this is what the techs at the dealerships used when these cars were brand new. Um, I've had this one for well over 20 years in the original tin, original instructions, and it's the one I prefer to use. You can make one. Um, long, long time ago, I made one out of, uh, you can make one out of a yardstick. Basically screw a yardstick to a piece of wood, um, get a eight, 10 feet or so of uh, clear vacuum tubing, and um, you know, you can do it that way. Um, also, there is a digital manometer. Um, this one I got online a long time ago and I've used it quite a bit. Um, it measures in inches of mercury, inches of water, uh, pressures, etc. It was like 40 bucks or something. Um, the water one does seem to be a bit more accurate, but anyway. Um, basically, if you got a water manometer, um, you're going to fill it with water. Um, put some food coloring in it if you want so it's a little easier to see. I, I zip tie mine from the hood just so I can see it while I'm doing it. Um, you're going to want to, before you start, there are channels right here where your idle air control stepper motors get their air from. Um, you, those need to be bypassed before you even start or it's not gonna work. Uh, they did a long time ago make a tool that slips down in there. Um, I can't remember the brand name. I want to say it was Lyle. Um, they made a specialty tool for, since these are basically two um, 2.5 liter four cylinder throttle bodies, um, they, you know, they made a tool, but long gone, long discontinued. Anyway, I use tape. Um, stupid as it sounds, I just take a piece of uh, Gorilla Tape, cut it to fit the channel itself, stick it down in there, press it against the port with a screwdriver. It seals perfectly, never had a problem doing it. I've been doing it like this for 20 years. Um, you're gonna wanna disconnect your, your idle air control stepper motors before you start. Um, that way the car, you know, cause the car will be idling at base idle without assistance from the computer because those channels are now blocked off. You don't want your um, your stepper motors either fully extending or fully retracting because that can damage them. Um, but once your channels are blocked off and your idle air control stepper motors are disconnected, um, on the back of the throttle bodies, you're gonna start, every, every time you do this procedure, you're gonna start with the rear throttle body. Um, on the back of it here, this center port is where you hook your water manometer. Um, disconnect that. Take one of your vacuum tubes from your water manometer and stick it on there. Um, this right here is your balance screw. Um, those are fact, they're welded from the factory. So I'm sure after 40 years, most of these things have been screwed with by now, but if it is still in fact welded, you're gonna have to grind that weld off to properly do this. Um, so you can balance the, thro the throttle bodies against each other. Um, but once the, once your water manometer is hooked up to your rear throttle body um, and your, your water manometer itself is, it's not really zeroed right now, but um, sometimes you get an air pocket in there and it's hard to work out. Um, mine, I know for a fact, are, are balanced. Um, this is just kind of a how-to video. Um, but um, like I say, trickle your water in there, get the air bubbles out, hook up your line. And um, the next step is to start the car up. Um, so that'll be uh, video number two. And um, I'll show you how, basically the walkthrough as far as how to properly balance and synchronize your crossfire throttle bodies.